For modern humans, a total solar eclipse is an awe-inspiring spectacle. It's a rare opportunity to reconnect with the realization that we are mere passengers on a spinning ball of rock hurtling through space, orbiting a luminous sphere of blistering gas and explosive energy. As we eagerly await the upcoming solar eclipse, it is also a chance to reflect on the fact that our species, as well as our hominin relatives, such as the Neanderthals, have dwelled on this planet for hundreds of thousands of years and have witnessed these celestial events unfold. But what did the Neanderthals see when the blazing sun suddenly disappeared from the sky? According to scientists, it is nearly impossible to envision that ancient hominins would have overlooked or disregarded such a striking event. What remains elusive, however, is their interpretation and emotional reaction to this extraordinary occurrence. Today, we possess the knowledge and technology to forecast eclipses years in advance and even trace back historical eclipses dating back thousands of years. This skill was developed by humans in more recent times, mainly due to the rise of agriculture, which demanded a deeper understanding of the sun and moon's movements and their influence on changing seasons. Our current understanding and ability to predict eclipses stem from the agricultural revolution that spurred advancements in astronomy. But for Neanderthals and other early humans who relied on gathering natural resources for sustenance, their connection to seasons and weather differed from those in agrarian societies. It is unlikely that they could accurately predict eclipses. For most of us, witnessing a full solar eclipse is a rare occurrence. Our average lifespans only allow for one or two opportunities to witness this celestial phenomenon. However, for our Neanderthal ancestors, who shared similar lifespans based on their bone structures, an eclipse would have been even more uncommon. It may have been an event that they had only heard described by their relatives and friends. Imagine a Neanderthal standing in awe as the sun disappears behind the moon. They may have known from stories passed down through generations that the sun would eventually return, but there was no guarantee that it would return during this particular eclipse. Unlike today, where we understand the scientific reasons behind a solar eclipse and can enjoy the thrill of darkness, knowing the sun will soon reappear 50,000 years ago, nobody knew what was causing this phenomenon. As the sky darkened and strange shadows appeared on the ground, people would have had plenty of time to notice something unusual was happening. They may have recalled stories of past eclipses and wondered how to interpret this one. According to scientists, an eclipse is like a timeline with many interesting moments scattered throughout its duration. The longest ones can last up to two to three hours end to end, with three to seven minutes of totality or annularity. This extended period is akin to a sporting event, giving people enough time to gather together and observe and discuss the strange occurrences in the sky, even if they were dispersed for hunting or foraging activities. As the sun's powerful light disappeared from the sky, it's not hard to imagine that Neanderthals gathered around their campfires, telling stories of, that day the sun disappeared. How did they explain this phenomenon, with no written records or cave art to depict such astronomical events? Anthropologists often turn to modern, hunter-gatherer societies for insight into how our ancient relatives may have viewed the world. However, while lifestyles may be similar, it is difficult to compare abstract concepts like spiritual beliefs and ideas about cosmology. Among modern-day hunter-gatherers, there are countless explanations for solar eclipses, from bad omens to the work of malevolent spirits or celestial monsters. Some groups even believed that the sun was simply hiding out and would perform rituals to bring it back. Interestingly enough, archaeological evidence suggests that Neanderthals were capable of abstract thinking as well. Decorated shell beads, cave paintings, 
and intricate bone carvings all point to a level of creativity and imagination. Additionally, the practice of burying their dead hints at a belief in an afterlife. But as anthropologist reminds us, there was never just one way of experiencing the world for early humans. Each culture had its own unique beliefs over thousands of generations. So while we can only speculate on what this experience was like for our earliest ancestors, one thing is certain. Their diverse perspectives and rich imaginations shaped their understanding of the world around them. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more such videos.